to the temple, then. That won't be necessary, heroes of the hour. Valigarmanda is no more. Yours is a victory worthy of song. Mm. We had plans for a second feat to be conducted here in town. But the recklessness of your fellow claimant has rendered them pointless. A second feat? The feat of ice. You are to fortify Valigarmanda's prison. Hmm. How shall we proceed, High Luminary? What more would we test, Zulmurwar? They have defeated the Sky Ruin and saved the gods know how many lives. If they are not worthy heirs to Kulul Jalja, then no one is. Now that our last claimant has arrived, we can proceed with the formalities. For the skill and bravery the three of you have shown, I award you each a second keystone. Makes five. Only two left to collect. Except that one of those five is in Bakul Jaja's thieving hands. He will answer for that. And for losing Vali Armanda. You have brought lasting tranquility to our home and earned the gratitude of every Yokui. May glory and prosperity continue to bless to Liolol as we enter this new age. Hello. was never much of a talker, our brother. If you're up for it, you should visit the capital. I'd like everyone to get to know you and your people better. Ha. I'll consider it, if it's one of you two who claims the throne. Then you need only await a missive from Sunperch. I'll be sending out invitations. for unusual visitors. You... woke Lamat, was it not? I doubted you could slay Valikarmanda, but the quiet skies proclaim your triumph. Had the betrayal been suffered to roam free, it would have terrorized us all. Once again, we find ourselves 
in your debt. You owe us nothing. We fought because we wanted to. Yet, a debt has been incurred. All the same. It will haunt me if I do not repay it. know what to ask for. Perhaps he can tell us about the dreams of the Golden City. Oh, good idea! That was on my list of questions I wanted to ask. The Golden Dreams. Yes. We have records of our forebears and their visions from the time before the Shak Tural expedition. What did your forebears see? A heavenly land, suffused with a golden glow. Its people lived as gods. Never aging, never dying, free from a hardship and conflict. Every building was a palace, and in their midst reigned a silent goddess, a statue so tall even my kin would need lift their gaze to behold its visage. A statue of a goddess. That's new. Aye, and compared to the abstract imagery we'd previously heard, this was a detailed description. The dreamers were consumed by their visions compelled to seek out the paradise they'd been shown. They journeyed to Shak Tural, where they died in droves. Those who go in search of the Golden City do not return. The tales Wuk Evu shared may have been rooted in historical fact. Perhaps. Who can know the truth of it? Once our ancestors left the forest, there were no more dreams. No dreamers. The forest? What do you mean? From the very first, the visions were set to visit only those who worked the quarries in Yaktel. But after they were ravaged by disease and saw fewer newborns, they were forced to abandon that territory. Once our people's withdrawal to Urko Pacha was complete. We never again dreamed of the Golden City. So only Yokhui in that one specific area experienced the visions. Fascinating. Well, we're headed to Yaktel next. Maybe we'll find out more when we get there.
thank you for sharing your stories with us. I do not require gratitude. I merely repaid a debt. Farewell, Wook Lamat. I do not think our paths will cross again. You have a moment? There's something 
I wanted to talk to you about. So, I, uh... in here, that's what. We should go outside. Aye, a nice walk in the fresh air. That's what we need.
This is much better. I used to come here all the time when I was little. I'd look out over the whole city, and whatever worries I had would seem so small. Do you remember what I said at the top of Warcor Zormor? That I would fight to preserve Papa's peaceful Tural? Well, I've been thinking a lot since then, about what peace really means. If it's just the absence of war. And it brought to mind all the best parts of our journey so far. I realize nothing gives me greater joy than the happiness of others. Life has its ups and downs, but the company of family and friends and the music of their laughter is what makes it worth living. And as silly as it might sound, I've come to believe that those smiling faces are the best measure of peace. With eternal life and no struggle or conflict, it's certainly an ideal worth striving for. Who knows if we could make such a world a reality. But renouncing war and conquest seems like a good place to start. So, this is my plan. When I become Dawn Servant, I'll build on Papa's peace. Our people will live together in happiness. It's just like Kryl said. By taking the time to hear their concerns, understand their feelings, and consider how best to serve, with each passing day, I'll be that much closer to becoming the leader I want to be. It's hard for me to say how much I've changed since the contest began, but there's one thing I can say with confidence. I wouldn't have come this far without you as allies. If it wasn't for you all listening and feeling and thinking along with me, I would have never learned so much. And in so short a time, there are two keystones left. After everything that's happened, and imagining what could happen, are you still willing to walk this path with me? <laughs> Thank the gods for that. Well, I have nothing else to get off my chest. I need to head to the palace. But I'll see you back at the cabins.